Both Hut squads are ready to go. This should be a fun one. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski here for EA Sports. No shortage of skill on the ice tonight. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The Maple Leafs kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Puck picked up by Point. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to Chara. And he takes a shot. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Broder has made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Comes up with the stop. And now it's grabbed by McCall. On the attack along the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. And he gets all of that one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he turns it aside. Scooped up along the wall by Boudreau. Here's a shot. You'll need more than that to beat him. What a play to escape the pressure, and that was brash in their own end. Yeah, I think he got the coverage off guard as well, trying that move in his own zone. Picks it up, and they turn on the pressure. And a nice save there as play continues. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Puck scooped up by McCarr. Takes the shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Merzlikens. Broken up by Domi. Moves it quickly over to Tara Bynan. Here's the pass. And he makes the save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Here in the late goings of the period, still no score in this one. Got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, it puts that one high. Well, it almost looks like he was looking for that top corner and just missed. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. With possession along the wall. Shuts him down. Oh, he'll feel that one. Denies him again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Shot. Gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Limited edition teams. In store, get yours before they're all gone. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Still looking for the game's first goal as we are underway in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Leafs have run into a hot goaltender, James, but they can't get discouraged or frustrated. Just continue to do what they're doing. They have a majority of shots on net. They are holding possession. They just have to find a win to beat the tender once. And you know that they'll pass in for more. Locks it into the offensive zone. The Maple Leafs gain control of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. The Maple Leafs grab possession to the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a faceoff. More than half the period left to play. Still scoreless in this one. Suzuki's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And he denied in there. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Slick feed. Denies him. He got all of it. Puck leaves the zone in a bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Maple Leafs have it from their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Makita. Now a quick pass to Clark. Sends the feed in front. Zone ability, and here on the power play, a little more open ice could be what he needs to unleash that 
offense. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Fires one on goal. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Moves it to the offensive zone. Fires it. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Merzlikens. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Pass back to the point. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, JC certainly did. He pulled it into his body, and as he corralled it, he lets it rip. But hockey's a game of inches, and that one just misses. And we play on. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. Late goings of this period. Still looking for our first goal. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency in attack. Fires it on net. Traps it with the glove. Instead of covering up, he feeds it along. Here's a short pass to Doc. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he makes another save. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease. Take away. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the horn. Two periods down. A third period to go. Stick around and join us for the drama next. signals both teams into position. Still scoreless as we are now underway in the third. The Maple Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Quick pass across to Spooner. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Huge steal in his own end. Oh, what a chance here. Takes a shot. Great save on the play. Oh, my goodness. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Burroughs. And that's a great hits up play by McCall. Quick pass to Eichel. Solid check to slow him down. The Maple Leafs have it now. Stop up, stop up. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Walker saving a good one by Boudreaux. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Suzuki's effective in the dots, guys. He's always practicing taking face-offs, and he really prides himself on winning those matchups. That's what we call his quick draw zone ability. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. The main release get a hold of it. Quick shot! Nice stop by Bourdieu. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Clark is known to put pressure on the puck carrier with a big body check, guys. He wears down the opposition with his truculent zone ability. Suzuki's won the faceoff. And here's the pass to Makita. The Maple Leafs take possession in the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, right off the noggin. Thankfully, he had a mask on to make the save. A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage. It's a two-on-one! Shot blocked! Now. The Maple Leafs have it against the wall. Newmanen's moving the puck through his own zone. Thunderous collision, and look at the end result. He's on his own bench! Yeah, and this is tough to handle, whether it's on your opponent's bench or yours. You know why, James? It's because you weren't able to stand your ground, and now you're over the boards. The Maple Leafs looking against the half wall. Beautiful glove stop on that one. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Maple Leafs win that offensive zone face off. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. In the game of hockey, you know that your 
opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Bruce Lickens has the puck and holds on for a whistle. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Maple Leafs come up with the defensive zone draw. Angles it over to Brown. Here's the pass down low. Look at that, there's the horn, and we are still evened up. That means we got a little bonus time. OT action is just around the corner. One will win, one will lose. Overtime will tell the story. It's golden goal time. Overtime, let's do it. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Puts it on there. Through pass ahead. Oh, this looks dangerous. Oh, fantastic save and crushes the run. In the overtime period. Takes a shot. Oh, great blocker stop by Merzlikens. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Clark's taking it from his own end. The Maple Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. There's the horn. Overtime fails to find us a winner, so we'll take it to a shootout next here on EA Sports. First shooter's about to go, looking to set the tone here in this shootout. with a little bit of speed on this shootout, James. And he didn't give anything away until the last minute. He has that quick release. He was accurate. He buried it. Dangles between his legs. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter. And I'm telling you, he read this one perfectly. Makes a save and look good too in that one. Yeah, the body language, everything about him is telling you that he's confident and composed right now. And he says, uh-uh, oh, oh, on that play. Yeah, on the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease. Just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Oh, and he couldn't get the shot off. I think this is a product of overthinking James as he runs out of real estate trying to make a decision, and he doesn't get it off. Stops it. This might be turning into a save-out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and he's challenging at the top of his crease, but most importantly, he's tracking and anticipating the next move. Welcome to EA Sports. I'm James Sobalski. Look at the star-studded talent on display for this Hut matchup tonight. Opening face-off just moments away. The Canucks win the draw and they'll start on the attack. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. McDavid's got the puck. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. He's got a step. Can't get that one to go. That's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick feed to McDavid. Takes the pass. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Orpik. Penske's moving it ahead. 
And he slides it quickly to Goudreau. There's a shot. Turned aside. Slides it diagonally to Yossi. The Canucks played along the wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Moves it quickly over to Podman. The Canucks have to be feeling good about themselves after getting on the board first here. I like the tempo, especially in the latter half of this period, James. They've had more speed, more urgency to their game, and they're rewarded with that goal. Puck grab by Girardi. Toronto's got it along the wall. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. One on one with the goaltender. Here we go. Broken up with the back check. I think he thought he had it, James. He thought he was going to put it in, and then out of nowhere, the defender comes, shows the speed, and the relentless attack on that puck. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Gains the zone. Goes it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Oh, look at this chance. And that goes off a player in front. Now he slides it up to Kuznetsov. From the point, takes the shot. Stop that one. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Into the offensive zone. Here's a chance. There's a stop with the blocker by Brodeur. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Maple Leafs continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers. They really haven't had the puck at all, so they're getting worn down right now. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Makar's got the puck along the wing. Moves it to Yossi. And it's a quick pass to Kuznetsov. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Shot! And he puts that one aside with ease. Moves it on over to Makar. The Canucks will play it in their own end. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, and he gets in front of that to make a great save. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Canucks have taken a 1-0 lead. Matthews won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. And that goes wide of everything. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Sends the pass down low. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. The Canucks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And that's poked away by Crosby. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Sets it on the front. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Matthews wins the draw. From the right side, they gain the zone. Shot! That save! Oh, he got all of that one. The Canucks have it in the offensive zone. Taken by Matthews. Ovechkin's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Oh, what a save as he denies the big hit. A 
some smart heads up defensive play by the car. Toronto's been disrupting play all night long, and this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. They're going to find a way to generate some offense. Here's a shot! It's right on the doorstep! The rebound there to be had, and they made no mistake about tucking that one home. The Canucks have made it a three-goal lead, and as we near the finish line of period number two, this is starting to feel a little insurmountable. Well, there's been a ton of offensive production and opportunity, James, and they've capitalized on it because they've not been afraid to take the shot. Sometimes you're looking for the pretty play. Well, not this time. They've been directing the puck to the front of the net, and they're getting rewarded for it. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time, Cheryl. How do you view it? The Canucks have built themselves a healthy lead through two periods, and now it's about bringing it home, James. And in order to do that, you need to manage the puck, keep it simple, and make smart decisions with it. McCarr's got it in the defensive end. Picked up along the wall by Eichel. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by McCarr. Let's it rip! And he makes the save! Hasek's made a nice stop there, and that can be difficult to do, James. I mean, sometimes you get cold or you get lulled into a game where you've been in the offensive zone most of the time. So it's often about timely saves that makes the difference. The Canucks are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Here's a short pass to Matthews. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dreisaitl. Here's a chance on the attack. Stones him with the blocker. With the blast. And it goes off a stick and off to the side. Passes over to Yossi. The Canucks played along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Ovechkin. A blast! Gets down in front for the block. And now he tries to get it across to Nikita. And he slides it quickly to Yossi. Gains the zone along the right wall. There's a shot. That's turned aside from the blocker. Here he is, Tristan on net. There's another consecutive save. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. My goodness, they are really starting to tie up the pressure here now. And they've got it in their own end now. Toronto's got it in the neutral zone. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. The Canucks offense has paid off in dividends tonight. No shortage of scoring chances, and they have capitalized on many. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. Quick pass to Potman. Oh, what a hip check. He lined it up perfectly. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. Let's it fly. Puck picked up by Eichel. Girardi stick handling in his own zone. Takes a shot. Bang! Final horn sounds bringing this one to an end. Great play from the back end tonight, but Pounder, you know the rules. When you get that shutout, it's all the glory to the goalie here in this one. Well, and it's deserved right now. I mean, he was excellent tonight. The puck was like a beach ball. He saw absolutely everything, and he was in perfect position all night long.
Who's ready for some hot? Hi, everybody. James Sabowski for EA Sports. We are set to drop the puck on some hockey ultimate team. The Flames get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Quick feed to Kachuk. Moves into the slot and reads the play perfectly and picks up the pass. covers up for a whistle on the play. Robertson's best looks come from a few feet away from the net. He's got that close quarter zone ability, which means he's very accurate when he's shooting at point blank range, guys. Calgary's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And he stopped that one. Clark's got the puck in his own zone. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the puck. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Calgary's gonna play it from the corner. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Knocked away. The Maple Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Solid body contact. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck. Passes on over to Clark. The Maple Leafs take it across the blue line. Fox has got it now deep inside his own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. And now it's grabbed by Kessel. Bender's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Here in the later stages of this period... Still no score in this one. Poulin's won the faceoff, and she'll put her team on the attack. Slides the puck over. Look out, here they come on the attack. And that shot dies in traffic. The Maple Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sends it down low. Gets the puck over to Poulin. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Calgary's had a great first period, James. I mean, they held the majority of the shots and the possession time, but guess what? They don't have the majority of goals. This one's still scoreless. They need to continue to do exactly what they're doing, play aggressive, intact the net, and they'll finally get one. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Taken along the wall by Boudreaux. And now it's over to Orpik. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Robertson's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one and he gets lost in it. More than half the period left to play. The game is still scoreless. And they take possession off the trot here in their own end. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Here's a chance! And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. The Flames carry it along the wall. Slides the puck to Hemsky. He's got a little jump. All alone! Oh! Looks like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to play with authority. Debrink, it's going to play it against the half wall. Calgary's got the puck behind the net. 
Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. The Maple Leafs look to start the transition game. Good read with the stick to break that up. Here's a chance in front, and it's blocked. Moves the puck. They've got it on that rush. Feeds it over. Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there. Wow. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Fires it on net. Oh, what a stop by Roger. Well, there you go. Two periods down. One more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Still available for the next home game. Please visit the box office and get them while they last. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Still looking for that first goal of the game here as we get underway in the third. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Kachuk's got it against the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Great puck check on the reach. Quick shot! A simple stuff with the glove by Markstrom. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Calgary's on the attack. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Driving right to the front. That's turned away with the pad by Brodeur. Calgary's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just both crushing, separating body from puck. Dabrink, it's got it along the wing. The 360 with the puck. And there's the whistle icing the call. Past the midway mark in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Kuznetsov's won it in their own end. Loses his balance on the play. The Maple Leafs take possession in the defensive end. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. With the stop. Great defensive effort with the stick. Rocked on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Orpik. Kessel's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front. Brodeur is able to deny that scoring chance right from the slot area, James. That's a beautiful one. Denied by Markstrom. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Moves it quickly over to Curry, and he hangs on to the puck. Great stick work with the steal. The Maple Leafs gain possession. Picked up along the boards by Suzuki. Can't get a hold of that pass. Moves it to Suzuki. The Maple Leafs take it along the wall. Shot! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Oh, that's right off the mask! Quick pass to Suzuki. And there's the buzzer. 60 minutes have been played, and we are still tied. Let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next here on EA Sports. Hard to find a more exciting stretch in any part of sports. Overtime, let's go. All the drama, all the adventure, all the action. It's overtime. Puts it on there. That's blocked by Markstrom. There's a big hit in the corner. Picked up along the wall by McCall. And that's just out of reach. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. A lot on the line 
here in this offensive zone faceoff. Calgary's going to start with the puck in their own end. The Flames have it now. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Looking to end it. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. Now a quick pass to Robertson. Calgary's got it on the line. Just five seconds. And let's see what the call is. Well, I'm a little surprised they made that call in overtime, James, but nonetheless, it was called, so they have to figure out a way to kill it off. get their lists ready for the shootout and we'll be bringing it to you in just a sec. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our shoot to win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from Stanislavski. Time for the shootout and so many people will complain about it but when it's time to actually let this thing unfold there is not a single person I know scores! Oh my! A little too sweet! This is just a great move, James. He knew exactly what he was going to do, and he buries it. Kachuk's up next. It's his time to shine. Oh, it's my goodness, there was some hot sauce on that shot. That's called a snipe in the game, James. Just recognizing that the goaltender's deep in the crease and just burying it home. And it scores! Well, that's what we call a snipe, James. I mean, he just recognizes that the goaltender's deep in the crease and puts it away. Here we go, back half of round number two. They could use a little cheddar on this one. Too many moves that drives you right to the goal line. Wow, that's blown down. Not even a chance. And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. Here's a chance to seal the deal. 